And now you've got some general in the back who actually knows what they've got to get done because he's the only person talking back to headquarters. And he probably hops in a Jeep and like, I got to drive up there and see what the hell's going on. And the Ukrainian sniper's like, oh, good, look, an old gray haired guy. And you lose a general, right? I'm, I'm guessing it is mostly just practical interaction between those big movements because they don't have the sophisticated infrastructure to talk to one another. They haven't been, done big movements like that, um, especially under fire. And so it turns into a bit of a cluster, right? And so generals go up and try to sort it out and they're great targets of opportunity. Um, but, but mostly it exposes like, so to your point, like, does it mean the leadership is, you know, there's probably seven more generals waiting to fill that role, but it does demonstrate to the world that level of like, just it's turned into a big cluster. And now their senior most guys are in the position of having to sort it out, which is not ideal.